What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to talk about how to use Lattice Maker in order to create glass assemblies in your SketchUp models. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting the show in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Lattice Maker is an extension from TIG that allows you to create different shapes as um, I don't want to use the word lattices just because it's in the definition but it's basically a lattice or a whole bunch of offsetted shapes so for example let's say that I was to come in here and draw this face right here and let's say I wanted to make it into some kind of aluminum storefront assembly I could come down and use lattice maker in order to set my width and depth and then my insets and I could use this to create basically a piece of glass inside a lattice and so this has a lot of practical uses I wanted to focus specifically on an example that I did yesterday on my rendering channel um, for exporting to Lumion for photorealistic rendering and I will uh, link to that in the notes down below but basically what I did is I had a building Kind of a simple building like this one and I had extruded whoops I had extruded the face back like this to create the building and what I wanted to do is I wanted to create some kind of storefront aluminum glass assemblies in here and so the way that I did that and so what I did to do that is I used the extension Lattice Maker. And so the first thing to note is when I did this, I couldn't just select this face and then just run Lattice Maker because what that would do is just create kind of a single lattice like this one that just goes all the way around the shape. But that's not realistic because that's not the way that aluminum storefront works. So what I had to do instead is I had to draw a line from here to here. And then I had to split this up further. And then I could select all of these different shapes and create the lattice along that one. Because what that allows you to do, if I was to draw lines like this, and draw lines like this, is now I can select all of these faces and I can use Lattice Maker to automatically um, offset these and then extrude them so that they contain glass. And so the way that that works is I just go to Extensions, Lattice Maker, I set the width and depth that I want this to offset as well as how far in I want it to inset because this is push pulling this face in and then you just select your materials. So in this case I wanted kind of a black aluminum and then I wanted the pane material which is the material in the middle to be glass. And so once I did that when I clicked OK that basically offset every one of these faces by a fixed amount and uh, filled those in with a color and then filled the the faces in the middle and with a glass material. And so you can use this to create very complex shapes. So let's say for example that I wanted to create a sphere. I could turn on my hidden geometry and then select some individual faces in here just by shift clicking. And then I could run Lattice Maker in the same way, and these would probably be a little thinner in this case, so probably the width would be something like a half inch and a half inch, and then the inset would be a quarter inch, and the thickness might be like an eighth of an inch. And I could do the same thing. I could leave the lattice material default, select glass, and I could create a lattice along these faces as well. So this is a really powerful extension that I recommend you go download. It can save you a lot of time on creating simple glass in your models. So that's where I'm going to end this video. I basically wanted to make a video reminding everyone that Lattice Maker was out there and how powerful it is. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this an extension you're interested in? Can you think of some cool uses for this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.